So it's all about Mind Matters this morning as we're joined by Dr. Angela Bass, international psychologist from the Mind Faculty. And all types of leaders can be found, but what's the one that works? Okay. Now, studies have shown that people tended to associate civility. And in the study, it was defined as treating someone respectfully, with dignity, with politeness and pleasantry, with being a leader. So I guess the question here is, do you need to be civil and polite to be a leader? Because we have seen other leaders who have taken it the other way. Yeah. Well, there's no shortcut answer to that. But what I would say is that I think it's a cultural myth when you say you need to be aggressive, you need to be demanding, you need to be, you know, sort of X, Y, Z leader that has been propagated by Hollywood, Bollywood, popular media. Um, In one sense, the nice quote unquote leaders, the ones with civility are sort of running a different race, if you will. And at the end of the day, you're looking at short term or long-term sustainability. So those that are demeaning, angry, demanding, abrasive, bullying, that's a short-term thing. You can get people to, you know, sort of cave in to what you're saying, but you won't see long-term results. Right. And, you know, at the end of the day, research has shown that, you know, most people make the mistake of thinking that, you know, with first impressions or leadership, that they are being rated on competency when actually they're being rated on trustworthiness which is something civility aids in. Okay. Well, one thing that I find is always that, you know, I've been doing a bit you know, management for the first time ever. And I would say, I think one of the issues I find is that people always say that when you're too nice, you don't get the job done. You either have a choice of people either respect you or they fear you. Isn't that correct? I don't think they're mutually exclusive. I mean, in one sense, you could be the nicest person, but by virtue of your position, you still might be feared. You know, some things are unavoidable. I think one can be assertive without having to be aggressive. One can be polite but effective. So in some sense, you know, research shows that you can say just about anything, but it's how you say it. So even taking the time out for little things add up to a collective picture instead of barking or all caps on an email. Mm -hmm. You know, one word, dear Rex, makes a difference as Mm -hmm. opposed to Rex, do it. Dear Rex, Please have this by my, you know, on my desk by such and such time. And these things add up. It's civility. Okay, well, you know, talking about emails, though, then that leads on to about more about communication and face-to-face conversations. How important are they? <laughs> we'll get into that next with Alphaville on Light.